So I've already prepped my skin with Nivea Day Cream uh, Moisturizer. It's an oil-free moisturizer for oily and combination skin. If you ask me, it's not ideal for me, but it's the only one that doesn't break me out much. Then I use Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow um, Primer. Then I mixed two foundations. It was Lancome and YSL. Uh, Lancome it was Idol Ultra Wear, and YSL it was uh, Touche Eclat in shade B20, and Lancome it was in shade four. I've got samples as well because I use almost with everything samples. I don't want to uh, buy the whole package when after three days it breaks me out and I can't use it anymore. So then I used my Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer in number in shade Light Sand. I use it uh, in highlighted places under my uh, eyes, on my chin, on my nose and a bit on my forehead and for my breakouts as well a bit then I mixed it a bit with this concealer um, I mix it with creme brulee shade from a concealer collection palette uh, it was, it's very well used but I'm going to show you it's this shade that one I mixed it and put it on my breakouts. So now I'll do my brows. I think that for this type of makeup, a perfect foundation would be the light one for uh, from Charlotte Tilbury. But because I've got skin in a bad condition, I would prefer to use a stronger. I mean, I would use foundation with more coverage so now I'll do my brows I will use palette from Coastal Sense uh, and I'll take the grey shade which is that one and I'll do my brows am I in a pocket? You see the difference already. Bella has very light brows in this look. Mine obviously are quite dark, so there's no way I can do this lighter right now. So I will use the light brown shade just to make them a bit warmer and lighter in a way. <laughs> To put my foundation on, I use my fingers and now I will use just a tiny amount of Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury in shade uh, Marie Antoinette and I will use it only just slightly amount over here just to give now on whole lid I will use beige color, that one very natural, almost invisible on my lid. So if you're dark and toned, you need to use a darker one obviously. I'm gonna just pat it on the shallow turbri shadow. <laughs> Now with the same brush, which is Real Techniques 203, I will add a little bit of warmth to my eye by adding a little bit of this orangey uh, color. I will use it right here above my crease in the outer corner and underneath. Now with Sephora brush number 14, which is smudge brush, 
I will use a light brown color under my bottom eyelashes like here. Just make my arm and just achieve some lower the eyes. We want to achieve an almond eye. She's got gorgeous almond eye. I wish I could have these. Now with Real Techniques brush, which is, what is this, crease shadow brush, that one, I will use Urban Decay Snake Bite eyeshadow, that one, only a tiny bit again on my mobile lid. Although Bella uh, wears almost always highlight in, but not one in her corners here. Uh, she doesn't have much in this look, but uh, for sure it's a little bit light. So I will use just a white matte eyeshadow from Coastal Sense Palette. Now extremely uh, thin line with black eyeliner, that one is from MAC, I don't know how is it called, uh, so really really a thin line through the whole eye. So now I will curl my lashes with a simple color and if you want you can add a uh, single fake eyelashes but I will just use fiber mascara from Unique that one okay so first goes gel And again gel. Now I will clean my mess with Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer and Real Techniques Brush, which is the crease brush, that one. And I will clean a little bit here because she's got very light parts here and underneath now I will smudge a tiny bit this shadow You make powder all over my face and with the puff just to set everything in place. If you have dry skin, you don't have to use a powder, you can use it only in the center. If you have normal skin, the same. So now with a no brush. Just a simple cheap one, but it's so pretty in it. I will use the contour shade, and I'm using drugstore version sleek palette and shade light. Actually, I wanted to use Kim Kardashian West uh, contour, but I forgot. I wanted to use this light thing here, 
the slight contour and then on top of it a powder and then a contour in powder contouring shade but well I used a lip liner in shade Angel from Gosh, Angel's Kiss actually, and then uh, I pat with my fingers lipstick from the stick from Clinique, which is shade Peach 04. Yeah, and that's it.